Right Stevie, you were asking about my Strix Goblin, this is it, just about 90% finished now. Right, so it's a plastic bow moulded fuselage, really aerodynamic, teardrop shape, probably the most efficient um, long range UAV fuselage you can get, right. Inside I've got a flight controller, F405 flight controller, it's got a barometer, it's got accelerometers, it's got gyros, there's also a compass there with a GPS. So basically, once you get a three, like a 3D GPS fix, um, you can fly away, flick the return home switch and it'll fly back to you if you have a lose video signal. Um, I've got a DJI air unit in the base here. I've got the camera mounted on a servo for head tracking. So basically, this is my goggles, right? DJI goggles. See what's happening with the camera so you can basically look about while you're flying. This is a head tracker up here. You can center it by wee clicking the button. And you can also switch it on or off on the transmitter. Um what else? Right, so you got a barometer, you got a GPS. So basically what you can do is fly I've got crossfire on my transmitter right so that'll give you like five six seven mile range typically and depending on your RF environment um, I've got DJI goggles so really really nice picture digital 720 kind of resolution not quite HD but absolutely shit loads better than the, the camera and goggles you saw the last time um, it's all going to be hidden inside the fuselage, so it have got a nice kind of clean set up efficiency. I've had to put a hole in the nose for airflow for the ESC. Yeah, I've got a nice beefy ESC, 70 amp. Um, performance, this will do somewhere between 100 and 120 mile an hour, and that's just a kind of mild set up. Um, some people are kind of getting over doing like major power upgrades and getting over 200 mile an hour in them which is absolutely wild, um, in which case you would need to upgrade the L1s kind of, you need to upgrade them to balsa, otherwise you would end up just ripping off at that speed. But, um, so, you're going to fly this, you could fly this, because what I can do is, you've got like angle modes, so you can basically self-level, fly straight, um, you can flick it to full manual, and then you've got absolutely full control, just normal, you've got like, Altitude hold, so you can hold the altitude and fly around, and it'll kind of, no matter what you do, it'll rise up to that altitude every time you let go of the stick, sort of thing. Um, you've got like lighter modes, where you can switch into lighter, and it'll kind of circle around about above you while you're kind of swapping over goggles and stuff like that. Um, what can I say? Really efficient. This thing, depending on how much throttle you use, can be set up to. 10 to half an hour flight times, depending how what size of battery you put in it. Um, it's going to be absolutely fucking badass. So you could fly this, absolutely no problem. Uh, we just need to find somewhere remote, away from everything, because it weighs about nearly nearly one and a half kilos. So it is fucking heavy, and that hitting you at 100 mile an hour would fucking kill you basically. So it's pretty badass. Um, we just need to find a place to fly this, but if you fancy it, let's do it. I'd fucking love to take this out and fly the nuts off it.